Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Oodles of Oodles. In the game Oodles of Oodles, we're going to be measuring a certain economist variation of uh, what they believe satisfaction is made from, which is going to be based off of these sh sh uh, charts you're going to be getting, which is going to be for money, health, fun, and goodwill. In the game, you're going to be picking a personality, and there's tons of different personalities, and based on each one that you're going to be able to choose from is what you're going to be wanting in life. Maybe you want to be rich, or maybe you are very careful and want to make things last, or you live in harmony with nature, so on and so forth. You're going to be selecting one of those personalities, you're going to get a character, and then you're going to use it on this board. You're going to be rolling two dice going around the board until you get to the very end where you make a life change. At that point, you're going to measure up all of your goodwill, fun, and all that good stuff, and uh, basically add up until you get this like you tell points uh, structure here it tells you exactly how to do it in the book calculating the score and there's also an introductory game and an advanced game so you can depending on how uh, well uh, understanding you are of the game is whether or not you're going to go to advanced or intermediate um, or introductory I would always suggest doing the beginning version of the game however throughout your life you're going to be able to take chances you're going to actually have to go with, you can go with legacy cards for the advanced game you might end up getting a police record you can select conflicts with other players and you'll actually have options with there, with there as well and then of course party cards uh, you were able to win cooperatively or play competitively uh, in the game and that is the basic idea of it let me get into it and show you how it looks and basically how it's going to function Here's the game Oodles of Oodles and everything you're going to get included in it. First of all, you're going to get this Oodles of Oodles transaction sheet, which you'll be using to calculate your money, health, fun, and goodwill throughout the game, as well as your pay level. You'll have your personality type based on whatever one you're going to be choosing, along with whether you have a police record or not, and of course, your name. At the end of the game, you're going to calculate all this and see who, um, who has the most amount of points, determining whether or not you're satisfied or not. Whoever is the most satisfied is going to win, based on, I guess, the economical uh, idea of satisfaction. You're also going to be getting, of course, personality traits. There's different ones here. There's Gude, Fringe, Whoopi, Umpade, Jimba, so on and so forth. And it has a little personality choices by the numbers here. Of course, the game recommends you play over four players, but you can play less if you want. It's going to come with a rule book of sorts, as well as a box to hold all the contents. You're going to get two dice, which you'll be using on your turn to roll to move across this board here, which functions very much like the game of life. You'll also be basing uh, your pay scale on one, of course, to start the game off, and you'll begin one of these things to track it. So as you continue throughout the game, whether you graduate or whatnot is going to increase that as well as chance cards. You'll be getting uh, these pencils here, which are going to be used for the C cheats. You'll be getting chance cards when you land on the chance space. They'll give you options throughout the game. Police records if you end up going to jail. Legacy cards for the uh, expanded game, where you'll be able to try and buy, buy these cards to double your investments for later. Party cards, which you'll get to try and you'll get to select one of the two different types here, as well as conflict cards, where you can choose to fight against your neighbors, suing them, and doing other sorts of things, as well as making options too. You'll be throwing the dice at a lot of cases as well. Throughout the game, of course, you're going to be moving around this board here that is going to have different things happen to you, which we'll talk about as we go ahead and get to the playthrough. But basically, that is what you're going to be getting in the game. Quite a lot of contents. All right, let me tell you how to play it. So for this explanation, as well as a little bit of a walkthrough I'll be doing, I'm just going to explain the basic aspects of the game. There is an advanced version that will include actually stuff like this, the investment levels here, and the legacy cards. It'll have give you the options to play more co cooperatively. Uh, but we're just going to talk about this one first so you get a good idea of it. We have to do be too lengthy. First thing you're going to need to do is give everybody one of these cards here, of course, along with a pencil. You're also going to all start at 60 money, uh, health, fun, and goodwill. Start your pay level at one after you've chosen your personality, and depending on the number of players is what personalities will be available to you. Uh, and of course, also keep track of the fact that there's going to be two different uh, important factors, priority. Like for this character, he wants fun and goodwill, one and two, and then three and four is going to be money and health. Uh, one is going to be times three the score, and two will be times times to the score at the end of the game. So those are very important things to keep track of throughout your gameplay as this specific personality. Make sure you have your dice if you're the first player, along with your little standee that's going to represent your character that'll be placed on the starting edge of the board. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, after you've written your name down, your personality, and uh, no, no police record, but just your pay level at one, you're going to roll the dice and move around the board. Everybody's turn is going to involve rolling the dice. If you get doubles, you can take a chance card if you'd like. If you land on the chance space, you have to take a chance card. And if you roll doubles and land on a chance card space, you will actually have to take the chance card, but you'll choose whether or not based on the doubles if you want to take an additional one. Those will give you options in the game. Every time you hit the payday is when you're going to uh, score your uh, benefits, your, your investment. 
or sorry, your pay level, which would be right here. Uh, this one here is 10 money, 10 health, 30 fun, and 20 goodwill. And then, of course, there's going to be other things that happen throughout the board. But if you, play, players are just going to keep going around in circles uh, around the board, trying to get to the very end, which is the life-changing aspect. At the end of the game, when you've, you're done, you've ended, you can't go any farther, you'll still be rolling the dice as other players take their turns, because everybody gets to finish to get to their life change. And you can score additional points by being there. After everybody is finished getting on the board, you're going to add up the totals of all of your points and all your scores, double them or triple them depending on which ones are your priorities, and whoever has the most is the winner. That's the basic idea. I'll give you a quick run through of rolling around the board and showing you some of the different cards, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin the game now, and I'm just going to be going ahead and using one character, the fringe personality, this guy here. But just to note, after somebody rolls two dice and does whatever he does around the board, he or she, the next player is going to get to go in clockwise order around the board as well. But to speed up things here, I'm just going to use one character. This is basically the base aspects of the game. However, with the legacy addition, uh, the expanded rules, you can include the uh, the little investment calculators here, as well as the legacy cards that uh, allow you to buy these guys here, or even buy them together to... Uh, increase your odds or score at the end of the game based on how well you do. Uh, you can also do a lot of trading and whatnot in the game as well. You can trade things or ask for uh, things to not happen to you, certain conflicts and whatnot. But uh, you have your pay level at one, your most important thing, which is going to be fun, then goodwill, then money, then health. Of course, all of the different personalities are are different in terms of what you're going to want in life, and we're going to simply roll. Here we go. So we got a five here. I'm going to take our character one, two, three, four, and five. Whenever you pass a payday, you're going to be giving yourself a payday, and your payday is going to be based on your pay level. So I'd get 10 money, 10 health, 30 fun, and uh, 20 goodwill. I would write it down in this marker right underneath here. And of course, you're going to be tallying these up as you continue. Uh, the investment aspect is for the uh, more uh, advanced version of the game. But after that, you're going to also read and do whatever it says on the board. This is help a friend resolve a conflict. Get 20 health and get 20 goodwill, which you would also go ahead and write down on this board here. Uh, then after that, the next players are all going to take their turn, and you're going to once again go ahead. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You pass payday, so you get paid again. You have a trading floor. You can trade with two players any points. That's pretty awesome. You'll be able to trade your different points here on the board with other players, uh, so that's pretty useful as well. Uh, things we might have passed, like this chance and this party can happen. Uh, for instance, a chance card. We're going to draw one of those and just show you what it does. Win a con uh, win a camper van. Choose. You can either sell it for money, or you can get 70 fun as you travel and enjoy it. Well, based on who you are, for instance, I... I don't care about money that much, but I really like fun, so I'm definitely going to take the 70 fun here for this specific card. You could also get a party card, which is something like this right here. This one says, a uh, food tasting party, get 20 health, get 10 fun, or you can watch a sporting event and get 10 fun or get 20 goodwill. It'll be up to you, and obviously try and select your personality traits that are best for you. And roll in the dice is what's going to be involved. Now, here's a couple of things. First of all, if you are in front of everybody else, so if this is how the game looked like this, and you happen to roll doubles here, here. Whenever you roll doubles, you're always going to go backwards if you're the person in front. And if you roll doubles and you're in back, you're always going to have to move forward. Those are very important aspects uh, to remember. Uh, and you can continue moving. So let's say uh, I rolled, uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and roll over here. Right? One, two, three, four. Bam, I'm really good at rolling dice, so here we go. Conflict. Here's a conflict card. Let's see what these guys do here. This one says you get to sue the company for unfair dismissal. You can choose to throw the dice, and uh, odds win you get... It, it, odds means you win, so if you roll these and you got a 5, you would win. You get 30 money and 25. Uh, 20 fun. If not, you would lose the case and lose 40 money and lose 10 goodwill. Or you can choose to agree to resolve the issue and accept... Uh, public apology, then you can get some health and goodwill. So you're going to be going around, obviously you're going to be collecting paydays, drawing these different cards, uh, potentially you're going to actually go to jail, Whenever you get to a graduation spot, you're going to have to stop, and that is going to then upgrade your pay level, so you actually get to move it up. There's other cards in the chance deck that will actually do that as well. Most of the brown things here are going to be random events that take place just based off of the board. All of the chance cards are going to involve yourself taking these chance cards. And also, don't forget, whenever you roll doubles, you'll have the opportunity, if you would like, to draw an additional chance card, um, if, or, or you can choose to or choose not to, basically. So and not only do doubles involve you moving forward or back, based on your first or, or last place, but you have the option to take an extra chance card, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and specifically, if you land on a chance base, you always have to, but if you land roll doubles and you go here, you, you can choose to just take one as opposed to two. Moving around the board, you're gonna, there's two graduation spots, so you're always going to get at least up to three pay levels, but you could lose pay levels too. That can happen as well. There's some nasty stuff that happens, like peer pressure. Choose another player, and both get 20 fun and uh, 10 goodwill. Okay, well, that's not too bad, uh, but there are some nasty 
nasty ones. Pay 20 money, but you get 10 fun. That could, could be useful for certain personalities. This is take a break from everything, which means go back six spaces and get 10 health. Uh, trading floors, like I said before, you can trade points with certain things. And of course, at the very end of the game, once you get to here, that's when it's basically going to end. It says get 20 goodwill, 20 money, 20 uh, health, uh, pick up a chance card, and when all arrive. But they're all numbered one through six. So you have to wait for players. So once you get here, you're going to be able to start rolling dice. You'll just roll one of these guys here. And based on the number on when it's your turn, you're going to get whatever that says. So in this case, I get 20 fun. And then afterwards, I would end my turn. Everybody else would continue across the board until everybody got here. At which case, once that last person arrives, that's when you're going to tally up all of your scores on these charts here. And remember, the tallying of the score is pretty simple. Uh, it, the first... Uh, priority of your personality type for this guy is fun double triple that score then goodwill is going to be double and then you're going to simply add these guys up um, uh, for money and health whoever has the most points at the end of the game is going to be the winner and of course with the advanced rules even more additional stuff is could occur based on what you invest in and of course the uh, different legacy options you could choose to buy which you could choose to buy throughout the game uh, for instance like this guy if you chose to buy this throughout the game it says it's going to cost you 400 fun and 200 money but investments in the future double these points points that's pretty sweet uh, and also you can go to jail if that happens you're gonna get a police record and it'll initially show you on this uh, little chart here that you actually have to cross that in and police records are not very good but you can actually get rid of them based on different cards so let's come up and talk about the game a little bit how i want to um, a little bit of caveats some of the different cards and then what i think about the game oodles of Udles. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different cards in here, like the chance cards, for instance. This one says fined for cheating on taxes. You're going to pay money, food, uh, fun, and goodwill. Uh, your child joins a cult. Pay a detective 80 money to bring them home. Lose 60 health and stress, but you get 100 goodwill as friends support you. Argue with your neighbor. Go wild, uh, wild water rafting. Have tattoos removed. Help the Special Olympics. Or help at the Special Olympics. All of these are usually going to have cost and benefit, and they're going to try, they're going to be uh, changing how you play the game or how, you, how you're going to be getting the different uh, types of uh, money, health, fun, and goodwill. And of course, you're always going to aim for your, your best traits. Those are the most important things to you. But these could be good, could be bad. You might have a joker card that actually keeps yourself ability uh, to claim another card from another player that they have just picked. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the party cards are generally always good and they're always beneficial in some way. You can choose between them most of the time. Investor party, get 40 money, 15 health, or get 10 fun, 20 goodwill. And they all have options to choose between them. Conflict cards, on the other hand, can be, uh, they're kind of like risking it. They're more of like a lottery aspect in the game. And they're always going to have this either or aspect to them. Uh, you could try and throw the dice and win big or suffer pretty big. Or you could just go for the smaller minor and that might just give you a little bit of something something if you don't want to take a chance. So for you, those of you who like the uh, luck aspect a little less in games, you might want to go ahead and just pick the basic aspect of this. Avoid jail, obviously. Avoid bad things that are going to affect your personality traits that are important to you. Always try and go up in your pay scale for your different, um, your different skills. Now, that being said, what do I think about the game? Well, the game here is similar to a game like Life. But then it looked like an economist kind of like saw this game Life and was like, I'm going to mash in a bunch of additional personality traits, uh, things that are really important in life. I mean, life is kind of a kid slash family party game that really you just move around and things happen and it doesn't really matter. This you kind of care a little bit more because you're more invested in get, making sure you're having fun or making sure you have a lot of health or goodwill, so on and so forth. So when people try and say this and this to you and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that or I don't really want to go wild, wild water rafting because I don't like having fun, as you would say, it. I'm more of a person into uh, having a lot of money. So that's not going to be as important to me. There's a little bit of trading in the, in the game. And for the base game, there's a little less interaction. If you want to involve a little bit more of the uh, calculative aspects of the game, the uh, writing down the different numbers and investing, choosing to get the legacy cards, and also the advanced game, you go on the board three times. Uh, that can be a lengthy game. So if you like the game Life, this is going to be something for you, especially if you're a little bit older of an audience that enjoys that kind of a game. This, I wouldn't even call this necessarily kind of like a, I wouldn't call it like a game that's going to basically push people into a gaming hobby, right? You have to probably already be a gamer to enjoy this game because it involves, there's a lot of stuff that involves. It's like a deeper, more complicated version of life uh, that is going to basically make you uh, think a little bit more as well as the interactions coming more in the advanced game. And uh, really, it seems like a lot of mathiness, but there's really not. As long as you can multiply by three and two, it's pretty simple. The pay levels are pretty easy to understand. Um, so what do I think? Like, it's, it's right there in the middle for me. I like the game Life, and I don't mind this one either. I've also played 
F My Life, as well as another game I've played. And they're all fun, they're all simple. I don't see a huge amount of replayability in the basic version of this game. The advanced one does have a little more because you're able to use your investments and whatnot and more player interaction. But overall, it's probably not a game for me. However, that being said, I can see a lot of players who would, do, who would and do enjoy this game. We play this one, two, three, four times now, and uh, they get half the group who was like, oh, this is kind of like bizarre to me. It's like life, but it's not really like life. And the other group of people are like, oh yeah, okay, I want to have fun. Oh, I like this aspect and this aspect. If you're a mathematician kind of person, or if you live a statistician or an economist, any of those kind of people are definitely going to enjoy this style of game. Certain gamers are going to as well, if you like to try and battle back and forth with each other, or be like, oh, I won't conflict with you if you do this for me, and blah, 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 blah. And you can use these conflict cards to your advantage. There is some strategy involved in the game. And overall, I'm going to say it's right down the line for me. Basically, though, if you think it'll be interesting to you, you can definitely go ahead and pick it up. Check it out on our on the Kickstarter and the down below in the description. Oodles of Oodles, a game of choices and trade-offs. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like this video, go and check out those other videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, as well as check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter and more. And don't forget to check out Oodles of Oodles for you economists out there who also enjoy the game Life. Uh, you can find it on Kickstarter in the description below. You can also go ahead and check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Two great sites that do tons of giveaways, uh, board game reviews, even more than my own site. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to making making sure we all have money, health, fun, and goodwill to all.